Marketing your business on social media is never easy, but it's made even more difficult by the ever-changing landscape of Facebook advertising. As Facebook rolls out the business suite, you may find that some of your pages and your buttons are moving around. I'm going to walk you through the differences between the Facebook business suite and the business manager and how to actually find all of the things that you're used to using. Come on in. Hi, I'm Morgan, a digital marketing professional here at Life Marketing. As Facebook rolls out Business Suite and combines it with Business Manager, I'm noticing some of my clients' accounts are defaulting to the Business Suite and some are not. So today I'm going to cover the differences between the Business Suite and the Business Manager, including what's changed and what's coming. Let's dive in. First of all, what is the Business Suite? The Business Suite is where you'll manage all of the organic and paid marketing efforts for your Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger accounts. The Business Suite combines all of the tools from Pages, Creator Studio, and Business Manager so that you can manage everything from one place. Let's look at the specifics, shall we? First of all, what's the Business Manager? The Business Manager is where you handle everything that's behind the scenes, like creating and managing ads, uploading your product catalog for shopping, adding permissions for partners or agencies, creating and setting up your pixel, etc. You didn't, and you won't, create and schedule posts, respond to comments and messages, or edit your pages or your groups in Business Manager. So what exactly is happening? The Business Manager isn't actually going away. Facebook is combining the best parts of Business Manager with Business Suite so that you can manage all aspects of your business's social media presence in one place. So what exactly can you do in the Business Suite? You can do everything in the Business Suite that you were able to do in Business Manager, plus more. They're not taking away any of the functions that you've gotten used to, but Facebook is using Business Suite to improve advertising, organic posting, and connecting with your audience, and making it all available in one platform or one space. The key features include the ability to post across platforms, manage your comments and messages, create ads, see insights and data for organic and paid posts, add partners, employees, or freelancers to help your business grow, and lots of other tools, which I'll cover in a few minutes. If you've spent time advertising on Facebook, you may be thinking to yourself, Morgan, this doesn't seem different from what I can do now. And you're mostly right. Business Suite isn't exactly the same as Business Manager. Before I get into the differences between Business Manager and Business Suite and some of the navigation and features, here's a quick message from Sherwin about our social ads course. Hey, we just helped a small business make over $1.5 million through Facebook advertising. And after managing millions of dollars in ad spend for thousands of different small businesses, we have decided to give away everything we learned to you in a special program. If you wanna learn the blueprint to success, the best practices from some of the fastest growing companies in the world, and all of the different tools you will need, then sign up for our social ads training program today. Welcome back. Business Suite is your new home base. If you're like many of my clients, you may already be landing on the Business Suite as your homepage when you log back in or visit business.facebook.com. It looks something like this. If you're used to Business Manager, you may be a bit freaked out by this. Where are all of your buttons? Let me show you how to get the behind the scenes stuff that you're used to from the old Business Manager. When you log into your account, you may see this. Congrats, that's the new business suite. You're upgraded, baby. To access all the nice business manager stuff, click settings and help. You'll see this page with business account info, people, business settings, more settings, ad account settings, and billing info. As you can see, this is all the behind the scenes stuff. The dark gray bar on the far left houses all the other business suite tools. You can add and manage assets like your pixel, product catalog, billing information, ad account settings, and your business info. Let's look at a navigation overview of this business suite homepage. We'll look at it quickly so that you know where to find the stuff that you need. If you want a deeper dive, let me know in the comments. You'll have the home button, this gives you a quick look at the overall health of your accounts. Notification shows you all the activity on your account so that you can engage with your followers. Inbox is where you'll find all the direct messages that you've gotten to your accounts. Posts and Stories is where you can create, schedule, organize, and view your posts for Facebook and Instagram. If you click Commerce, this opens the Commerce Manager in a new window, which is where you'll manage your catalog of products so that your fans can shop. Planner gives you a calendar view of your scheduled posts. The right-hand column includes holidays, social media, and in real life, and... It's really fun, I like it. Ads is where you can see ads that you've run from your page. This is different from the ad account found in the Business Manager, actually. You can access the Ad Manager still from the All Tools menu. I'll show you that in a few. Insights shows you the stats for your page, including actionable steps. And All Tools 
allows you to access even more tools for engaging with your customers, managing your business, running ads, analyzing your performance, and running reports, selling your products or services, and creating posts, stories, and apps. Let's look at some of my favorite things about the business suite. I want to show you some of the features and additions that I'm most looking forward to. Some of these are available now and some will be rolling out next year. I'll let you know which is which so you don't get lost trying to find something that isn't available yet. Let's take a quick look at the new page experience. If you create a page now and into the future, you're automatically going to be enjoying the new page experience. However, a lot of the pages that already exist, maybe even some that you're managing now, don't have access to the new page experience yet. Transitions are so exciting. <laughs> So what can you expect from the new pages? You can expect a cleaner layout that should be easier to navigate and a bit more intuitive, quick switching between your public page and your personal profile, a separate news feed for the pages that you follow. All full control admins will be able to see this feed, so keep that in mind. You'll also get better insights and notifications and updated page management tools. Now you may wonder, will I lose anything if I switch from an old page to a new one? And the answer is you might actually. Here's what Facebook has changed. If you switch your page to the new page experience, you'll lose anyone who likes your old page but doesn't follow it. If they like it and follow it, their follow will be migrated over. Page roles like moderator and editor are no longer going to be available to you. Task access has replaced these options. You'll also no longer be able to schedule from the new page. You'll need to schedule your posts in the business suite or the creator studio. Would you like to see a dedicated video on the new page experience? Let me know in the comments and I'll work on one. Let's look at organic posting features. In the business suite from the left hand menu, click posts and stories and you'll be able to see organic publishing tools available to you. You'll be able to create, schedule and see published posts and stories from here. One of my favorite features is the feed and the grid, which is super helpful if you have a specific look you're going for or if you're more of a visual planner like me. You'll need to connect your Instagram business page to Facebook to be able to see that. Facebook Photos shows you all of the photos and albums that you've uploaded and created on Facebook. A-B tests will house your organic post test, which I'm really excited about. I love A-B testing for ads. In fact, we do A-B testing for all of our clients, and I like having this option for organic posts. It's going to help you figure out what people are responding to without you having to run ads to actually see that information. Facebook recently announced that they'll be rolling out work accounts. This is probably only exciting for people like me who have been working on the platform for a while, but you'll finally be able to keep your work and your personal profile separate. It's not an active feature yet, unfortunately, but it should be available next year. I hope this helped clear up any confusion around the business suite slash business manager transition rolling together that seems to be lasting forever. You'll inevitably come across some bugs as you navigate. For example, David, one of our account managers, and I got stuck in a nonsense loop trying to get up an ad for a client. It was a bizarre, click here to do this, and the option's not available, click here to do this thing. Usually though, like in this case, you can chalk it up to being part of the transition. Sometimes Facebook needs a minute to collect itself, so if you're pulling your hair out, take a break and come back to it later. Or let us know in the comments and we'll try to help. In the situation with David and I, the ads were published and it was resolved sort of on its own. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Let me know what videos you'd like to see me make next. Like this video if it was helpful and subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming marketing videos. Happy marketing!